My favorite thing about Dr. Seuss's books is that he creates an entire world of whimsy and quirkiness. I mean, the characters that he draws are just sort of insane. They've got a very weird, cool vibe to them. They're captivating. And I think it just draws you in because the design of the world is magical. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. People across the world love Dr. Seuss, and his drawings have a, a connection with people. And so there is a responsibility to try to capture some of that in what is, is a different medium. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm the Lorax. Guardian of the forest. You definitely have to take a lot of creative license because what works on the page of a book isn't necessarily going to work really well in the medium of film. You chopped down one of my trees to make that piece of garbage? Now, we didn't know whether or not we could truly do justice to this story until we had translated that very simple design of the Lorax into a 3D character. And we could see that the spirit of his drawing was living and breathing in that dimensional character. You have to give the expression by the eyes, these eyebrows, and uh, the moustache. We spend quite a lot of time the final look of this moustache. Hey, why do you have one of these? You don't even have a mustache. The Lorax has a mustache beyond all mustaches. If you had to wear a mustache like that, you'd probably have to walk into a room sideways. All the fur also. We did a lot of experience to know if we have to groom very nicely, or if we have to cross a little bit the hair, have some strength. So we tried several ID, and finally we got this one. Or it's quite soft. You want to touch him a little bit. Are you the Wunzler? Oh, man. Didn't you read the signs? No one is supposed to come here. With the Wunzler, in, in the book, all you see are these green hands that kind of poke out of the window. So there's a lot of mystery there. Who is this person? Is it a creature? Is it a human? Geisel, at one point, indicates that that character is wearing gloves. So that became a clue to say that he doesn't really have green arms. He's wearing green gloves. That was our starting point with the Wensler. And from there, our character designers, they did uh, a lot of work and put a person behind that that could connect with a movie-going audience. <laughs> These animals in the Lorax are just heartbreakingly cute. You have the swami swans and then these little bears that run around and they're all just adorable. So with the animals in the forest, of course we have the illustrations as a starting point. You know, certainly we expanded on the, the, the humming fish, the swami swans, the barbalutes, sort of giving them some more personality. The book gave us a lot more uh, source material for the Truffula Valley. You know, we really just used those colors, those, those shapes. The Truffula trees were a fun experiment in the sense that we had to find a cool shape. And we used some of the shapes from the book, and so it has the flavor of the illustration, but it's, it's really its own thing because it's got, you know, all the fur and the hair on it. And that took quite a bit of time to sort of get the perfect look for these trees. So they look very appealing and fun, but believable as well. It's an enormous privilege to be able to step into this world that Dr. Seuss created and help to expand it and to allow the audience to see more of this world that they love. Whoa! The Seuss estate was very supportive of everything we were doing and were very excited by it as well. And I hope the fans of the, of the book are too. The Lorax was a very special book to me as a kid. Dr. Seuss did it beautifully. And I really think that everyone here has celebrated that. It's an homage to Dr. Seuss, and uh, I'm so proud to be part of the, the Lorax because it's a shining uh, example of his uh, sensibility. Mm -hmm.